That's right guys, it's barefoot weather. It's freaking hot, I can't believe it. Welcome back to another fantastic episode at Three Pound Fishing. We just got back from the Crappie Masters Rin Lake tournament and we did pretty good. We ended up in eighth place, which doesn't sound that impressive, but we had some great anglers there, a good field. And let me tell you, that bite was crazy. And the, the weights were all crazy together, but we had a great time. We cashed a check, very proud of that especially because I do guide on that lake part-time once in a while. So we're gonna go out here and catch some slabs. It's a beautiful day, guys, just absolutely stunner. So come along, here we go. Big fish going in the boat. All right, probably the best thing about the Rin Lake tournament was that I didn't break anything which was fantastic, because you know I like to break things. We thought we might have broke our trolley motor because we kept banging up against the timber, but we didn't, which was great. But we worked hard. Our technique was this, real simple. I would go at the fish usually first with a hair jig, all three pound fishing hair jigs. Um, and then my partner, Mike, he would then follow up with a minnow if I, didn't, if I couldn't get it with the hair jig. Uh, it was interesting. Minnows worked almost all the time. So technically I probably could have just went with a minnow as well but i'm so accustomed to the hair jig bite we thought we went at it the right way and to be honest with you i don't know if we ever didn't catch a fish that we were truly dropping on so it was very high success rate bottom line is you just had to run into um the right fish and we did actually and i thought we did really well i'm proud of that so today we're going to be casting at him we're back in that post spawn uh pattern so stick with me we got super warm temperatures today i believe it's going to get up to 86 and uh, we're gonna put some slabs at the bottom. I'm excited, we're going back to piles, guys. Back to piles, I love pile fishing. Here we go. So you, yeah, guys, we used the uh, Savage 13 the entire time we were on Ren Lake. Mike used it as a 15 footer, I used it as a 13 footer. You cannot beat the Savage 13 as a jigging rod, and it is built for lakes like Ren Lake. Oh yeah, baby. Look at this tank. Oh my gosh, that's a tournament fish, guys. First fish. Bam, guys, that's a tournament fish. Second drop of the day, and that is a hog coming straight from three pound fishing right there. Beautiful fish, guys. Um, sun protection, very important. Don't forget, guys, Wind Rider. They actually came out with these shirts, this one here, I think in particular, that has the three pound fishing logo in it. So if you follow the link in the description, you can actually buy Wind Rider shirts with the three pound fishing logo. Just giving you a heads up. If you want to take advantage of it, great. If you don't, no big deal. So, but we putting slabs in the boat. That's the start of a great episode, guys. Man. All right, like we always do, we let them go, guys. Let them grow. Come on, baby, there it goes. Hungry fish, guys. Oh, yeah, baby. Coming up in that clear water, guys. After being on Wren Lake, I'll tell you what, you're just amazed by how clear this water is. The uh, Probably one of the coolest stories or interesting stories about the tournament was on day two, you know, we were in eighth place on day two. Um, and on day, the final championship day, the second day, we actually caught all of our fish by 7 a.m. and we were thinking oh man we got all day to upgrade these fish and really make you know we thought we were going to really show off on the on the second day um, but i'll tell you what the bite got fickle on us and we could not upgrade for the most part after that after that initial flurry of fish wow there's another one this should be a good one and on top of it and you never know what's going to happen in a tournament our big fish was about to die. So we had to stop fishing and come in at 12, I think it was 1215. That's a hog guys, another great fish. Another great fish. So the point is, I mean, and we did, we kept pushing. It wasn't like we tried any less. It's just that we had all our fish in the boat. We felt really good about our position and we just truly was the most difficult bite after that for us to run into a fish that was larger than a 1.08, I think was our small fish. Um, we just couldn't do it. And then all of a sudden we risked losing our big fish. So we said, hey, it's time to go. Um, 
And that's what we did, which I think was the smart play. We're gonna move to this next area, but as we do, I'm gonna talk to you about some things. Um, one is that sniping braid played a big part. Fished with the Savage 13, but with the Comet uh, sniping braid. It was uh, fantastic, super sensitive, did everything needed it to do. And uh, that's what my choice would be on Ren Lake for sure. The target's gonna be that guy right there. It's pretty loose. Looks like a bass there. We got a decent amount of little fish right there. Little pile them. They should come at it pretty hot. I, I feel that way because of how tight they are. They tend to really come at it hard when they're that tight. Oh, there we go. Absolutely, they want it a little stiller on this pile for some reason. They don't want to catch it uh, casting. Solid eater here. Bam, beautiful black crappie guys right there. It doesn't get much better than that. Always letting them go. Guys, always check out all the merch on threepoundfishing.com. We got the hammer tent, we got the savage, hog fishing nets, they're all here, sniping braid. Also, of course, the new king's tail. That's hot. Hey, everybody, I, I don't know how many I gave away and talked to and sold at the, at the Rin Lake, but man, I'll tell you, um, those rods are doing fantastic. You gotta try them out. I absolutely love the Hammer 10, uh, especially on my home lake. Great for casting, great for sensitivity. Just, it's a perfect balance too. When you put one in your hand with a reel, the 200 series reel, it is the most balanced rod you will ever feel. So no joke. Cleaned up sickness. Beautiful, beautiful sickness right there, guys. If you know the boat, the boat is sickness. It's a sickness, right? So uh, that's what we named it. And. Uh, yeah, fish are going the boat. Even even in the middle of the day, guys. Middle of the day, beautiful day though. So yeah, let's put some more in. Now I have been asked the question a lot about if, if whether or not I have a lead, I use a leader or not with a sniping braid. I go straight to the hair jigs, guys. Straight to any jig for that matter. Um, I feel like you're able to do that because of the small diameter. Um, you know, you got to do what what you're comfortable with because I know people that still use leaders. It doesn't matter, but I don't and I don't really feel like it affects the bite whatsoever, especially with muddy water conditions. Um, I, I just absolutely don't think it matters them. But to each his own, and it's always about a confidence thing in my opinion. And so if, if get, putting a leader on there is giving you confidence, then hey, that's perfect. That's what, that's what makes crappie fishing so fantastic. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Mm. Oh yeah, baby. Another fish, guys. Post spawn fish are great. They're aggressive. They're totally coming after the baits. Letting them go. On a new pile. About one cast in. It's a good ratio right there. I like that. I like that. All right, guys. That's gonna end it. They're, they're running me off the lake. The, the, the uh, boats, the wreck boats are running me off the lake. No doubt about it. Uh, there's just too many of them. So, uh, appreciate you guys watching. Please do me a favor and share the content, all that great stuff. A lot of new things coming out with three pound fishing. Uh, middle to the end of three, 2024, uh, we're prepping up for all the shows and we've got some awesome new rods coming, new reels. Just a lot of new tackle. Hair jigs, got a ton of new different style hair jigs coming. Um, we're really gonna be focusing on hair jigs uh, just because I use them so much and I, I absolutely love them. I think they add to more fish in the boat because of how efficient they are. So also look out for a uh, new exciting sniping break coming out. That'll be coming out here probably in the next month. And uh, I think you guys are gonna really, really like it. So uh, I'm excited about that. Anyway, take it easy guys. Have a great one.